What makes someone a good singer is not necessarily having a good voice. I mean, I suppose it depends on the music. But if someone were to have a perfect voice with no flaws, they would actually be very boring to listen to. People would wonder whether it was artificially created. Oh yeah, and then there's opera. But, but you know, think about Louis Armstrong, you know, the guy who sung What a Wonderful World, Hello Dolly, A Kiss to Build a Dream On. One of the craggiest voices out there. But because he had a great sense of pitch, he was able to make it work. What is absolutely required to being a good singer is having a decent sense of pitch and the ability to correct when you're off pitch. You have to be able to control your voice reasonably decently, regardless of the quality of your voice. You also have to know the difference between how you hear your voice internally and how other people hear your voice. One of the best ways of doing that is to record yourself and listen to yourself later on. And then you can, you can eventually relate, okay, when I feel this in my voice and I hear this in my ears internally, it will translate to this out here, and it's learning that side of things too. You know, once you start getting those things aligned, you're on the right path. But if you're unable to correct when you're off pitch, especially if it's because you can't really hear when you're off pitch, then sorry, you're never going to be a good singer. It's just not going to happen. No amount of studying anything will help that. But it strikes me as weird how many people do have a good sense of pitch, but they don't want anything to do with the performing of music. Perhaps they don't realize that's the key, you know? Anyway, thanks for watching.